Hello, my name is Fleabag. Welcome back to the Badger's Den. I'm carrying on my playthrough of Fallout 4. I've met a wonderful load of ghouls in um, the Sentinel site. Um, so, fingers crossed, we can actually get through. Get these nukes for Liberty Prime. Um, I'd say get it up and running, but I'm guessing it might not go that well. Got this. Just keep your cool. Oh. Damn it. Come on! Come on, you bastard. Oh, good. More muck. Ah, shut up, Preston. Alright. I want to get to the center of this bloody thing. Get these nukes. Get Liberty Prime up. And then I can actually start helping people. Well, I hope, anyway. <laughs> right. So that's at least my way out. You sure that's worth taking with us? Please. Hello. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. Okay. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. You trivialize that which resides here. This place is holy. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. Oh, None God. shall enter. Okay. Trust me, I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. Oh when he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners oh of the earth. That is why they must be safeguarded. Did you understand any of that? Yes. I want to spread his, uh, glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Your words ring hollow. I do not hear Adam's voice in yours. You seek to further your own ends, not his. Oh God. The relics will remain, and you will leave. Now. Forgive me. I wish to repent and seek the wisdom of Adam. You are forgiven. Take this, and prepare <sighs> to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May oh Adam's radiance warm your soul. <gasps> oh my god. Let's see if we can get them to fight. Preston. Come on, you bastard. Oh, shit. Yes, yes, fight to the death. Fight to the death for me. I'll be fine, Preston. <laughs> Why is it any of these ones? I want mini nukes. So I thought it's still charging its attack. Oh, that's one, I suppose. Right. Right. 
But that at least um, is a bit more interesting. May Atom guide you, brother. Give you a buttercup head. What the? One blue blazers. Don't know what's on. What? Hang on. What the hell? What's going on? No, it's miscellaneous, isn't it? This is Captain Mitch Dunleavy. 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. This is a drill. We need confirmation immediately. We've got a lot of nervous soldiers over here, Command. This is the big one. They want to head home to their families before it's too late. Some of the inbounds are getting awfully close. Wait a minute. The inbounds are splitting into multiple targets? Oh, hell. This is it, isn't it? May God have mercy on our souls. Oh. Right. Let's go out for a swim. And probably check on Virgil as well. Because apparently he's, um... I'm guessing he's finished sorting his serum out. I don't press him. my rifle. Still have this in three leg grenades, don't I? Right. <laughs> wow. Um, that went well. And they're now fighting ghouls. Oh god. <laughs> Where's Preston Garvey? Preston! Preston, you son of a bitch! Actually, just travel from here. So, really, don't want to have to deal with that. All right. Oh, yes, I can. We can. Oh, and we don't have a death call to deal with. Oh, shit. Um. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can oh, shit. Use a serum of qualified success. This is a qualified success? There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more work. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or Ooh, help wish I had a gas mask. Junk, if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. Yes, I can start nicking stuff. Ooh, bro, it's got to be me. No. Oh, that's cool. Right, so... Uh, what's it like that Virgil had? Was it success? Well, this experiment was anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. 
Do you need something? Hmm. I wonder if you can tell Madison Lee this and see if she uh, actually shows any interest in Virgil being normal. Can't talk right now. Ooh. Gotta clean the fire alert scat off my boots. Wow. Okay, Liberty Prime now has legs. Dr. Ingram. Dr. Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are going to do the trick. That was a good find. I'll, I'll work with so. your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on ah. Liberty Prime. God damn it. I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are going to hold. There's only one way to find out. Absolutely. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm going to let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Oh, oh, Madison Lee. I wonder if I can tell you about Proctor, uh, no, um, not Proctor, Ingram, Virgil. Doctor. To be frank, I don't agree with Father's decision, but I'll accept it. Stop going on about that. I want to talk to you about Virgil. Being the director of the Institute is a serious commitment. I hope you understand that. As soon as those bombs arrive, I'll help Proctor okay. Ingram Screw get you. loaded onto Liberty Prime. Boop. Liberty Prime, back online. All right, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Okay. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets. Any and all red Chinese invaders. How can it differentiate? Now let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning, power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart recommended. Okay, this doesn't sound good. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. I've got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. Um, what did he say about the power what core? What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, I'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. Okay, it'll add a bit slightly more worrying punch now. To your power armor. Medic- what? You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Alright, well I think on that note, I'm going to leave it there. So, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!